Om Shanti. Welcome back to your 42nd day of your blessing. And in today's blessing, we're going to learn how to put a break to our thoughts. And what kind of break is that? Just like when you're driving your car, you'll see that if you don't have a powerful break, you might hit the person right in front of you. If your break is a little tighter, then what happens? You can actually topple over. So the perfect break to your thoughts. It doesn't mean that you put a break and you end up having that break accomplished or you are putting a break and your car stops after a meter or two meters or maybe five meters ahead. So such a loose break will also lead to accidents. Similarly over here also, Baba says that your thoughts cannot have a loose break. That means if you're thinking pure thoughts, then it's perfectly fine you're going in the right direction. But if you're thinking in pure thoughts and you want to put a break to it because you're a meditator, you're a Raj Yogi, and you end up putting a break after an hour or a half an hour or 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes, then it's a very long time and you've lost a lot of power. So let's go ahead and let's understand what exactly does Baba want to say here. Baba says in this blessing, May you be a light and might house who does service with your blessed form by applying a powerful break. So, in order to serve with your blessed form, what is your blessed form? Only when we are thinking pure thoughts, divine thoughts, can we be able to bless anybody with good health, good financial wealth and good relationships and many more things in life. So you first of all need to have pure thoughts for that and also the special practice of controlling your many thoughts in a second. So if the mind is thinking about worldly things, if the mind is thinking about things which are concerning the self and you need to do service for other people, you need to help other people for some way or you need to counsel other people, then in that case those thoughts have to be stopped and to be focused on one and only one thing, one purpose, that is to help other souls. For that purpose, we need to know how to put a full stop to other thoughts which are not so important. So Baba says, that needs a special practice of controlling your many thoughts in a second. We need to reach a second to put a full stop to them. So when you start meditation practice, you might take 5 minutes, 10 minutes, even 20 minutes. And slowly, slowly you'll reach two minutes, one minute and then a couple of seconds and then you'll reach one second and you'll be able to put a full stop to those thoughts, unnecessary thoughts and be able to guide the souls at the right time, at the right moment. So, but if you are engaged in your own troubles, in your own life issues and you're not able to put a full stop, then how can you even help anybody else? So then Baba says, throughout the whole day, continue to move along in the wave of an ocean of pure thoughts. That means we should create a wave of pure thoughts. While doing worldly things, worldly chores, always meditate for a couple of seconds in between. Remember God the Father, which we learn. You can do Karma Yoga. You're working. You are doing your household chores. And at the same time, you're able to take a break for a couple of seconds and remember Baba and start creating pure thoughts for the whole world, for your family members, for your friends, for your office goes for everybody and your office colleagues so you have to move along in the wave of an ocean of pure thoughts and whenever you want go to the bottom of the ocean of pure thoughts that means when we are doing worldly chores we are thinking about thoughts which are very common in the world those are like those waves which are there over the sea you can see over the sea plane you can see those ocean waves so they are always moving around. They're not in one direction. So your worldly chores also lead you to think about thoughts which are not in one direction. So Baba here says that go deep into pure thoughts, not worldly thoughts. Take a break. Go down into those pure thoughts deeper. And as you go deeper and deeper, you'll come in connection with those pearls, the beautiful pure thoughts. And those pearls can only be found when you go to the depths of the ocean. So while going to the depth of pure thoughts, there will be pearls of wisdom. 
And that's where we have to be completely silent within. And that can only happen when we have pure thoughts for self and others. So Baba says, for this, one of a thought throughout the day, whole day, continue to move along in the waves of an ocean of pure thoughts. And whenever you want, go to the bottom of the ocean of pure thoughts and become the form of silence. In silence, we can find answers. So this is a mental silence. Complete mind through thoughts is in silence because of pure thoughts. For this, you need a powerful break that whenever you want, you can full, put a full stop or a break to the thoughts which are worldly thoughts and go deep into completely powerful pure thoughts. So that transition is learnt when you do a deep meditation at Brahma Kumaris. So for this, you need a powerful break, total control over your thoughts and all rights over your intellect. What does the intellect do? Intellect makes a decision whether I should think this or think that. That's where our intellect should listen to us when we tell it, let's go into deep silence, let's go into pure thought thinking. Enough of thinking about worldly things. And that's where the intellect says, okay, my boss, let's go ahead. So the intellect makes a decision. And sanskars also, complete right over the sanskars, that means habits. I can immediately create a habit of going into pure thinking. I can immediately create a habit of going into worldly thinking, that means my worldly chose. So for only then will you be able to become a light and might house. A lighthouse is the one which gives ships a direction, a sense of direction. And don't come over here. You're going to hit the rock bottom. So here too, we give guidance through our thoughts to other souls, through vibrations. That That is pure thinking. It's okay. Move in that direction. This is impure thinking. Don't go towards that direction you would hit rock bottom. So, for only then will you be able to become a light and might house, give them power and serve with your blessed form. So only when you are thinking pure thoughts and you have the powerful break, you can actually be a might house. Give other souls the power to think right, the power to make right decisions and go in the right direction. With this, I leave you. Om Shanti. Music